So through all these reviews I do, I ended up with a Peloton Home Gym, Peloton Bike Plus, Peloton Row, and the Peloton Guide. I do not have the tread because I consider the tread and the bike both pure cardio plays and I didn't personally want both, although I do know some people absolutely love that setup. But with something like this and a home gym through Peloton, there are a lot of pros and cons and that's exactly what we're gonna discuss. And then we'll circle back at the end of the video and I'll tell you if I do it again. Let's start with a pro, and that's gonna be balance. Through these three options, I can get a complete workout, a pure cardio play, a strength training and body resistance option, and then an option with the row that kind of meets in the middle, very tough cardio, but still engages so many muscles. A lot of balance. Another pro is content, and this is what made Peloton a household name rather quickly, because they do this so well. The instructors just know how to talk to you, make you wanna work out harder, more often, come back when you might not have otherwise, it's just what they do, they do it so well. If you like instructor-led content, you're not gonna be disappointed with Peloton. A con, mostly instructor-led content. And yes, they do a fantastic job with it, but variety is nice. Now they have gamified the bike a little bit. There's one game, but there needs to be more games. They need to gamify the rower, gamify the guide, come out with different formats, more scenic things, just change it up, offer more variety, and keep new things coming at us that make working out exciting. A pro and con, the subscription price. Currently at, I believe, $44. And if you're a single user that only uses one of these products every so often, that's gonna be a little steep. But if you're a family of users or you have multiple products and you get to bounce between them, there are things that start to make it more justifiable. And that $44 and the convenience of having these products in your home whenever you want makes that a little bit easier to swallow. So, situational. Con, the price. I think the bike here, I paid around $2,500. The row, $3,500, and the guide, $300. Now, the guide, I actually think is a fantastic value. You get a lot of that Peloton magic for $300. I like that a lot, but the other two, boy, that is a lot of money. Pro is how much space they use. The bike here needs about a two foot by four foot space. The row stores vertically, so it's small when you're not using it. And the guide, you need a TV and a space in front of it. And I've been really surprised at how well it works if you don't have a ton of space. So I really like how much you can do with so little space. Pro, all of these are quiet. Exercise machines can be pretty loud. And with these being quiet, that could be nice for you, but even nicer for those around you. Con, they don't have a true resistance training machine. Now I know I mentioned balance between these options, and if you're not a person that needs to really push the limits when it comes to strength training, this is gonna be a great setup. But if you really wanna push your muscles, you wanna try some serious resistance training, you're gonna feel like there's something missing, and you're not meeting all your exercise needs. Pro, these are always ready for you. I get so many comments from people saying that if you get products like this, you're lazy and you should just go to a gym. But there are so many reasons that people might not be able to just go to the gym on a whim. And having these in your home ready when you are, when you're able to do it, is so convenient and allows you to approach your health when you otherwise might not have had an option. Con, variety. If you're one of those people that wanna walk into a gym and just see a million options and go, you, you, and you today. You wanna be able to mix it up constantly, this might not be the option for you. Now, each one of these has a lot of different things within them and different ways to work out, but there's still just three options. A bike, a rower, and then a TV platform. So, it might not be the variety you're looking for. Pro, ease of use. If you've ever said, I'm not a technology person, I can't do it, these things are built in a way that anybody can jump in and use them. The user interface, the content, how they do everything, how they teach you, very, very simple, very easy to use. Con you're locked in. I get why they do this, but sometimes I just want to watch Netflix or YouTube while I work out. Pro, Peloton's future. I think a lot of people have been thinking, I want to get a Peloton, but I'm not sure about their future, and I don't want to spend that kind of money, and they go away. Well, their earnings report came out today, and it looked much better, and like they're a company that's going to be sticking around, so that's a positive. So if I had to start all over, and I was building a home gym, would I go with the Peloton setup? Well, hear me out before you click away, but no. Now my dream setup is to have a connected fitness home gym. I love what connected fitness offers. They're always getting updates, there's new features. They keep just doing things better and better. Whatever you bought, it's not the same thing in 10 years, it's getting better and I love that. And I want that dream setup to be connected fitness, everything under one subscription and have everything I want. 
I'm the type of person that my favorite type of exercise is true resistance training and they don't have that option. So that pushes me away from Peloton as far as setting up that dream setup. Now that being said, I think a lot of people looking to build out a home gym don't need a serious resistance training option and the guide will be more than enough. And if that's the case, this would be a great setup. But if I were to build out a Peloton gym and I thought that was the right option for me, would these be the three options that I would pick? No, they would not be. I would still get the bike or the tread, so you have a cardio option, and then I would get the guide because it's only $300 and it covers the resistance side, and that keeps the price point low, but you still have variety, you still have that Peloton gym, and you're still under that one subscription. But with the row, it's just priced too high for me right now, and you're gonna get more than enough setting up the guide and the bike here to get what you need, have a lot of excitement and tackle the whole exercise you want. And if at some point the row comes down in price or they're offering discounts a certain time of the year and you want to expand your gym, I would do it then. But out of the gate, I would not get the row. I would wait for the price to come down personally. If that helped you out, please consider subscribing. Hitting that like button helps a ton and I definitely appreciate it. But until next time, here's to a healthier you and have a good one.